This video will demonstrate a very basic test setup and run using the Advantec L3P Sonic Sifter. Prepare your test sample per your industry standards. Gather all the sieves required for your test, as well as your weighing device, means of recording your results, and a sieve brush. Before testing begins, be sure your sieves are clean and dry. Weigh and record the tear weights of diaphragm, top cone, spacers, sieves, and fines collector. Drop the fines collector into the holder and lock into place. Assemble the sieve stack with the finest sieve on the bottom, arranging coarser toward the top. When working with samples finer than 45 microns, you may find the addition of the L3N8 horizontal pulse accessory helpful in reducing agglomeration. This accessory is placed at the very bottom of the stack on top of the fines collector and will impart a horizontal tap to alternating sides of the stack. For ease of sample viewing, align the sieves so the labels are all on one side. There is room for up to six standard series sieves or three electroformed. When using electroformed precision sieves, be certain to refer to the care and handling guidelines on the sieve case. If fewer sieves are used, add spacers at the top to fill out the stack to the required height. Add the top cone and introduce your sample. Generally speaking, a smaller sample is better. Large samples will overcrowd the sieve and lead to blinding. Large samples may also yield inaccurate results as not all particles will have equal opportunity to be passed or retained by the wire cloth openings. Refer to Chapter 6 of Test Sieving Principles and Procedures for tips on determining optimum sample size. Install the diaphragm. When properly oriented, the word top will be visible. Clip everything together with the column lock. Make sure the amplitude is set to zero and the timer is in clock mode or blank before starting. Sudden high impact from the driver could damage the sieves or compromise your sample. With the column lock arms clipped down, slide the test stack into the test chamber. Be sure to orient the stack in such a way that will allow for clear viewing of the sample. Release the column lock arms to form a tight seal. Lower the chamber door. Set the sift pulse dial to the pulse setting to engage the vertical tap mechanism. If your test does not require this tap, simply set to sift. The L3P timer has three modes of operation, seconds, minutes, and hours. Press and hold the mode button for one second. The LED will illuminate which mode is engaged. Set your countdown value by using the increase-decrease buttons. Once your time is set, hit start. If you are unsure of how long your test run should be, refer to our Test Sieving Principles and Procedures Manual located in the back of your operation manual. Slowly increase the amplitude while observing your sample through the transparent sieve frames. The optimum amplitude has been reached when the largest particles are rolling on the sieve surface and no particles are arcing higher than half the height of the sieve frame. Beware as settings for precision line sieves differ. Refer to the instructions on the jewel case of your precision sieve before proceeding with your test. It is important to note that higher amplitude does not necessarily mean faster or more accurate outcomes. Excessive amplitude may exacerbate electrostatic charge problems, contribute to equipment wear, and possible sample loss. Precision sieves are especially prone to premature or immediate failure if run with excessive sample size, excessive amplitude, or if on an extended test cycle. Once the countdown reaches zero, the L3P will stop and the timer will beep indicating your test is complete. Carefully remove the stack, disassemble, and reweigh the components. Record and calculate your results.